right, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. We are in a stream yesterday because I wanted to get the mountains finished and the road system finished. So we have all the mountains are done all the way around the outside. So the outer mountain is done and center mountain is done. We have the road system is in, but the traffic system is not. I can't put the traffic system in until we get the railroad system in. And I'm trying to decide which direction I want to run the trains. And it's probably because of the castle and these extra bits I'm probably gonna go east and west yeah I'll probably go east and west which means <clears throat> Central Station will probably end up somewhere somewhere about here so let me hang on let me get rid of some grass first so we have something to work off of and again put all this grass back in later because a lot of this top of the mountain is not going to be grass anyway get rid of some of this now we are going to have a different central station in this map so I think I'm gonna run the railroad tracks We're going to have a double track. Well, let's get the building in and see where the, the railroad tracks are going to fall. Uh, so let me create a transform group. We're going to create several transform groups. Let's go edit cut <clears throat> places. So I don't think I have, we don't. <clears throat> so this is going to be Central Station. So I'm going to import two buildings in really quick. What I want to do is I want to get the trains running under here so the tracks will probably be separated so we're going to probably end up running multiple Bear with me until I figure out how I want to orientate this. So we're going to end up with multiple railroad bridges. So if I take the main building, so how do we want the main building facing? Probably have it facing the road. So let's get you square here. And then our side building. Uh, let's 
get you to zero. And so you've got to be at least touching the building. Now do I have room? Yeah, we got room to drive a truck in there. So I want one train coming under here. And I was hoping to get a second train. Like under here, but I didn't want to leave a gap. Again, we may have to adjust these a little bit in scale once we bring the train in. So I'm going to leave these here for now. This doesn't These we're also going to use it as a warehouse system to store all of our pallets in. Or do I want to go east, north, and south? No, let's let's start here. We can always I could always change it. Now, now I want to create a transform group. And you are going to be uh, railroad tracks. And I want to actually want to move this up, even though I'm probably going to delete almost everything that's underneath it, but I want to get it just moved up for now. All right, so let's create another transform group. We'll call it train A. Now I'm going to import in the old railroad tracks. We're only going to take bits and pieces off of it. I'm not going to use the old the entire system. I don't even know where the darn thing is to be honest with you. Alright, it's going to be flowing perfect. Let's just keep it up in the air for now. I just want to steal pieces out of here. So what do we have? Is 50 meters straight my longest that looks like it? Yeah, it looks like 50 meters straight is my longest. So let's grab one of those. And let's go edit, cut, train A. And then, yeah, we're, I'm going to have to rescale these buildings once we figure out how high off the ground we want to train. Probably about there. I don't want it too high because then it messes with the railroad crossings for over the road. And then let's make you train closer to the building. thinking about pushing this back and run a one train on the front side one train on the back side right, now let's leave it here for now the train station we can adjust later I want to once we get the tracks started so we know where I'm going but these are going to be more painful than putting roads in I 
can actually do so I can actually no I want to go straight out never mind we're gonna go straight out I guess it's a 16x map. I want to be able to transfer product from the outside of the map to the inside of the map with the train. Now, I don't even have the train imported into the map yet. But we got to get the railroad tracks laid out first, anyway. Now, before I go any further, hold on. What is this going to look like with a little bit of what do we have? Do we have like railroad gravel? Do we have any kind of, yeah, we just have regular gravel. So I'll have to put some gravel under the tracks. Let me just see how that's going to look. I may raise this, I may delete these and raise this up just a little bit more. All right, hold on. Yeah, let's go up a little bit higher. That's going to work. So I want 205.82. One more. Yeah, one more. So that gets us raised off the ground a little bit, so that's going to look a little bit better. All right, let the disaster begin. We do have a couple more road bridges to finish as well. But I wanted to get at least one of the train tracks in today. and a lot of grass as we go. I should spend a day off camera just getting rid of the rest of the grass. Neon, hello, welcome. Farm check, good morning. Thank you for stopping in, saying hello. Let me give you a quick tour of what we what I did yesterday. It was like super, super boring. Let me get a little bit of speed here. Hold on. So what I had finished, I had finished the mountains all the way around. So the outer mountains, so all the mountains are now done. So central mountains done. All of the outer mountains are done. The road system is done except for a couple missing bridges. So in game it looks really, really cool. So anyone 
we got a couple of the upper bridges that we still have to put back in on the roads. So mountains are done. So that's half the battle. We can't put the traffic splines in until we get the railroad tracks in. Uh, because we have to put all of our railroad crossings in if we're going to go over any of the roads. So we got to get all the you got to get the railroad in before I can get the train, the cars, the the traffic's in in the map. So my goal is to have central station here in the center. We'll have one train that loops up and around the north end of the map and then comes back in and we'll have a second train coming out here running around the south end of the map and then coming back here so they all meet here and then somewhere on the four corners or close to the four corners we'll put secondary stations so they'll be like station one station two station three and station four this way you can transfer product from the four corners of the map back to the middle of the map well, that's what the plan is on paper we'll see how it's going to work out in theory and then i imported a bunch of railroad bridges in so these are just sitting here temporary. So I got to figure out how we're going to get the bridges done. So unfortunately, it's going to be a lot of probably like a good eight to 10 hours just to lay railroad tracks. But since I didn't stream yesterday, I thought I'd pop in here today. All right, so I need 206. Uh, it's starting to come together. Yeah, it's, it's definitely starting to come together. All right, so where am I on strength? Let's come up on our strength. So let's cut a path in here for the railroad tracks. this all the way through that other texture I was messing with the on our last stream when our last stream ended I really I couldn't get it to work so I couldn't get those other textures in this map so we're stuck with this mountain texture whether we love it or not I did miss a piece of mountain. Let me go back and flatten that out a little bit. Uh -huh. Alright, so you could go a little bit more. Uh, let me just make sure it's all nice. Oh, I don't want to do that. There we go. And then we'll probably start our bridge right there. So unfortunately, it's going to be another boring day of just laying railroad tracks and then finishing the bridges. I'm hoping it goes quicker than the roads. Oh, there are 
gap in there. No. Sassy one, hello. Thank you for stopping in. Get a get um, part of this tracks laid, and I'll take you in game. I'll show you what the uh, mountains look like in game. Or if I get tired of laying tracks here in a, about a half an hour, we'll uh, finish up some of those road bridges. Because these are shorter than the road section, so it's going to take a little bit longer to get the railroad tracks in. But because they're railroad tracks and they have gravel under them, they don't have to be like perfect like the roads do. And we're going to have some long railroad bridges. Unfortunately, and I apologize, it's going to be a lot of zooming in, zooming out, zooming in, zooming out. How's everyone doing with the uh, map updates? I know they really can't use the map updates yet until we start getting some new factories out. Because it was mainly to add new fill types for future factories. But I just want to make sure that, um, uh oh, I don't know, I have no idea what I just hit. I can't do anything. Okay, I hit save instead of duplicate. All right, we're going to save. Everything's working great for me, no problems. Farm Chick, what map are you playing? I haven't had a chance to play since I put any of the updates out. I spent about 18 hours yesterday working on uh, mountains. All right, so that did duplicate. All right. So I was on the Ritchieville test map for a little bit yesterday with Papa Smurf. But other than that, um, because we were talking about factories, future factories, so I was in Discord live with Papa Smurf for a little while yesterday. So the only map I've been on since I've updated was my Ritchieville test map. But I haven't really played anything. And then this map's not even updated yet. I gotta get all the fill types in this map yet. Because I wanna stay on top of it and not have to put a hundred fill types in at the same time. I wanna get them all in here as I'm updating the other maps. Man, this is going to be a long bridge. Alright. 
So let me just pull one straight back so I know where we are. And then let me get, all right, what I may do, let's, what I might do is, All right, before I cut that opening in, let me to go, let's go up here, let's go, let's bring you down a little bit. Let's bring, let's go to subtract. Let's bring this entire mountain down a little bit. I'll be playing what mountains for the, like, as we're adding stuff in, I'll probably be playing with mountains for about a week until I get them the way I want them. Bring that down so it's not as high. I'm tempted to just pull this mountain back. So we have a little bit of an opening. All right, let's just cut the train and we'll see where we're at. Let's go to replace a second. And let's cut you in. make it a little bit wider and I'm going to cut it back. So let's go a little bit wider. Both sides. And I'm going to have to smooth this down. That side. Now this side. Smooth you down. Uh, I still want to take this. Oh, hold on, wrong one. Let me go down on my strength a little bit more. Let's go back to subtract, and let's take this mountain down a little bit, so this peak isn't as high. And we'll take this side down a little bit. Make it blend in a little bit better. Something like that. Now let's get these tracks in. Um, Control Machine 97, thank you for the follow. Thank you for taking time out of your day, stopping in and saying hello. Oh, oh crap. All right, I got to look at my phone. Uh, V-O-L-L-E-F-H, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for taking time out of your day, stopping in and saying hello. We are working on, well, Farm Chick, Sassy One, and I are working on railroad tracks here. For the new 16X map. As soon as I get some of these tracks laid, we're going to head in-game a minute, because I want to show the girls and gals and guys everything I had accomplished yesterday off camera but I wanted to get some of the railroad tracks in and figure out exactly where this trains gonna go alright you are my train going north hold on I can't remember if there's a train going north or if this is gonna be a train going south 
this is a train going north. So we're going to have to come up here somewhere and then head to the right. Now, how far back do I want to go? All right, hold on. Let me do something here real quick so I know where my curve needs to be. Let me duplicate this guy. Let's turn him this way to zero. And let's figure out where our track is going to run going north first. So it doesn't end up in the mountain. I think we're going to end up along the road. Yeah, I think I want to come back along the road. So let's bring us back to about... So I need room for a bridge. So let's bring us back to about here. We'll run this along the road coming back. Somewhere in here. But I want to leave enough room to get a railroad crossing in. And a road crossing in. So we're on that side of the T. So somewhere in here. So let's just bring that out and let's get a curve in and see what it's going to look like. And then we'll go in game and I'll show you what we've got going on so far. But unfortunately I'm going to have about six to eight hours today just laying railroad track. some more grass. But I did decide to go um, this map. The only thing I'm going to build into this map is going to be the mining and probably the oil wells and then everything after that is going to be place your own so this map will be pretty much everything's going to be place your own so you're going to have to create you you'll be able to set up this map and play it however you want to so we'll have placeable mill placeable dairy placeable textile mill a placeable refinery so all the basics even the basics to do your building with you're going to need to place your own all right let me erase a little bit more of this scruffy grass We just got to get the tracks laid. Like I said earlier, I don't even have the train in this map yet. So I can't even import the train in. All right, let me grab from the old train tracks. Let me grab a curve. 30 degree or 90 degrees. Now you're a 30 meter 90. You're a 50 meter. I'm going to go with the 50 meter. I'm going to go edit, cut. I'm going to put you in here. And let's throw you over here. Um, if it's all placeable, then I have to get my thinking cap on and get a game plan together. Yeah, it is. Um, we are definitely going to go with all place your own. All right, I'm going to pull this back because I don't like a curve on the road it messes with the train signals so we're going to go back and then we're going to curve so let's get another 50 meter in here yeah and then we'll put a railroad crossing in there
and then we'll get our curve lined up and get it at the right height. Uh, so what height are you? You are 205.82. So if we go 205.82, does that put you at, it does put you at the right height. Look at that. So let's get you lined up. Uh oh, do I want to bring it closer to the road? I think I do, so hold on. Uh, let me, let's see, this is a 50 meter. Do I have, what do I have in the way of something a little bit shorter than a 50 meter? I've got a 10 meter. We've got a 30 meter. Let me grab a 30 meter a second and see what it looks like. Uh, so let's go edit, cut, and paste. Uh, let me throw you here. Let's spin you this way to 90 and 205.5. Eight, two. Now these row, these may be too low. We may actually have to go back and raise up this entire railroad track. I'm going to see how it looks over the road here in a second. Line up. Oh yeah, so you're about perfect there. Now, if I bring you back, I think I can get a railroad crossing in here that won't mess with the, yeah, I like that better. Now, let's grab, uh, let's go file, import, railroad crossing. And I just want to stick it over here for now and see what it looks like. Uh, so let's go zero. Uh, let's pull you up. And get you lined up. All right, now uh, you are a little bit too narrow. You're going to be about there. I know I'm going to end up moving this anyway because I don't have it in the right transform group. I just want to see if my how my height is and see if I have to adjust these tracks at all. No, I think this is going to work out well, actually. Yeah, I think that'll work out. Right, let's get rid of this one, since we don't need it. And then let me just get this last straight guy hooked up. So you... Uh, we're going to head over here. And you're going to start going north. Why do you feel like you're off? Right, something like that. So now we're going to head north. So let's do a quick save. And we'll see how this looks in game. <laughs> Have a three ring binder for each map, dividers for everything. You have notes everywhere. That's too funny. Post it notes stuck to everything. I actually have three notebooks myself sitting next to my computer. And every time I 
find something as I'm either playing or building. I'll jot it down in the notebook. So any updates, any factories, I've got a whole bunch of crap going on. All right, let's go see what this is going to look like in game before we go spend eight hours putting railroad tracks in and I'm not going to like it. And I'll show you what the mountains look like in game. And I will continue working on railroad tracks until lunch. So you have to believe. Alright, let's go back in here. Let's crank up a new game. And um, my third binder that I'm building this map out of, my third notebook is completely full, my last page. So I'm actually going to have to go to Dollar General either today or tomorrow and pick up two more notebooks. So I don't even have room to make notes for the next factory. It, I'm completely full. All right, so let me grab, ignore this, uh, uh, ignore the map. Ignore this vehicle shop. Because I'm not going to use this vehicle shop. This is just temporary. We're actually going to use... I'm going to pull Jim's Auto Sales out of the Islands map. And Jim's Auto Sales is actually going to be our vehicle shop. But let's head... Let's head this way because I want to see what the railroad tracks look like. And then I'll show you what the outer mountains look like. So essentially this map, if you're new to, to the stream, this is going to be this way different than my other maps. This is a 16x multi-fruit with the extra animals, but it's going to be, it's a valley between two mountains. So there's a central mountain um, smack dab in the center of the map, so central mountain, um, and then there's a valley around Central Mountain and then there's another mountain range that runs around the perimeter of the map. So I'm calling it Center Mountain and Outer Mountain for no apparent reason. And then the canal that runs through the map that's going to have our fishing boats Hot air balloon has to move, it's too low. That's project for another day. So there's four tall bridges, one going north, east, south, and west. And we're going to have two trains looping around the map. One, a north loop and a south loop. but I want to see where this meets and check our height. It's hard to see in the editor. It's easier to see in the game. And I think that's going to work out well. Yeah. We got we to finish our train system before we can put the traffic splines in. So right now it's a bunch of nothing. Um, ignore the mini map because that's the old map that it was built off of. Um, I have protective sheets I use for my uh, canning and gardening things. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not quite that fancy. Give me a dollar general 
$0.59 notebook and I'm happy. All right, so this road's going to run around the entire outside perimeter of the map, so Outer Mountain. And then there's four roads, four or five roads, I can't remember, that take you back down into the valley. Now that we're in the valley, you can get a good you can get a good feel of what the mountains are gonna look like. So let's do a quick drive this way. So essentially, it's the valley between the mountains. I know my bridges are floating, I don't have them finished yet. But I wanted to show you what the mountains look like, since I didn't stream yesterday. So there's a few bridges that go over the canal to get you from the outside the canal to the inside the canal. And then there's, I got rid of the dirt bridge going up the mountain. So there's two real roads now that go up the mountain. Or I should say the dirt road. But it took me a good, I would say about 18 hours yesterday to get the outer mountain range done. And it was super boring, so I didn't want to spend any time on camera. And we'll have boats and fishing boats and sailboats and all kind of water activity going on. So we can head straight and go back up to the outer mountain. And then there's going to be a, there's a road that runs around the outside of the canal and then there's a road that runs around the inside of the canal but the mountains look really cool so they turned out a little bit better than I was expecting I will turn my truck so I don't run off the road hold on let me get back on the road And it will turn you back this way. But the mountains are looking really cool. It's starting to feel like a map now. Yeah, after it was like all mouse work yesterday, so it was like I was clicking on the mouse like all day long yesterday. My arthritis, my hands was killing me last night. It is a yeah. It's um. <clears throat> It's a 16x map, even though the islands map was built on a 16x base because they were islands and they, like 30% of that map was water, it felt really small. But this map, if you drive around the outside of the perimeter, it, this map is huge. This map has a big feel to it. And then there's a new road now coming up on the back side of the mountain. I don't know if you, if you guys and gals had saw it, but we'll take a right over there. And I'm going to get out of here. We're going to go back in and finish laying the railroad track. Ignore the field and the BGA in front of us. That has to get moved. So there's another road coming up central mountain on this side and 
I got grass everywhere. I got grass on the mountains to get rid of. Uh, we've got the new road here. Oh, I gotta get rid of this broken line and put a solid line here. Some edges and stuff to clean up along the road. So we've got this road coming up the central mountain. The vehicle shop's gonna be up here, central station's gonna be up here. We'll have some cell points up here. Um, our big main town will be up here. And then you can continue straight and go to the south end of the map. And then curve around and come down. here and I'm gonna put the animal dealer like right here where I'm driving so the animal dealer is gonna go somewhere like right in here and then this will take us down to the lower level inside the canal So, but once you get in here and get driving around, this map is definitely huge. I'm almost positive I'm going to put two fishing boats in instead of one. Oh, sorry. Hope I got my mic muted in time. Sinuses are killing me. It's laid out a massive sneeze. So, still got some like high humps and stuff to smooth out as I drive around and I see them. But for the most part, the mountains are now done. So, let's get out of here. Let's finish working on. Uh, Railroad tracks. Let's get some tracks laid. Gonna need a bigger binder for the Ritchie Valley map. <laughs> yeah, especially since it's gonna be all create your own. You're gonna have to definitely keep notes of where you're putting everything. All right, railroad tracks. Ooh, wrong way. Let me go up on my speed a little bit. So once we get the train systems in, both trains in and running, and we get the traffic system in and running, then the build is really going to start to go a, a lot quicker. So we finish the railroad tracks, we'll get the, all the, the railroad in, then we'll get the train splines put in, we'll get the traffic splines put in, then the build is going to become a lot more fun and a lot we'll get a lot more accomplished
I don't even expect us to get the railroad tracks put in today, to be honest with you. So we've got a we have a ton of railroad bridges to build. We have the rest of the regular bridges to build. But tomorrow, I want probably I want to go back to working on factories tomorrow. So tomorrow, let me grab my notebook. So tomorrow, I want to build, if all goes well, I want to build the placeable Hershey plant, the placeable Procter & Gamble to make paper towels and toilet paper, and then I want to do the placeable Dole um, plant. So that's the goal for tomorrow. And I want to update the potato washer and the potato steamer so it holds more capacity so we don't have to babysit it every like 20 minutes And then if we have any side roads, like say I build a gravel road coming off of this road coming back, then we'll have to add more railroad crossings. So we'll be playing with this train probably the entire time we're building this map. We'll be adding railroad crossings and stuff in. And then we'll probably spend another two days to get the map border in. Uh, just get rid of some more grass. Did I duplicate that one already? No. Um, do they stop frequently? It's looking. Does what stop frequently? I forget what I was talking about. So, the, and I didn't look at chat for a couple sets, for a minute or two. So, does what stop frequently? I was saying, oh, the potato machines stop frequently and need more. Yeah, the potato washers and potato steamers right now are a pain in the butt. So they're going to get a massive update tomorrow. But I wanted to get the railroad. I wanted to come in here and work on the railroad tracks rather than working on the potato washer and potato steamer today. Because I'll just make it factory day tomorrow. Because you need steam, you're going to need, some of the factories take washed potatoes and some of the factories take steamed potatoes. And on the homestead map, I'm about 
29 hours in now. I only have like 29 hours into my save, but I bought the field next to the land next to field eight where the potato washers and potato steamers are. And I harvested my first harvest of potatoes and I fired up the potato washer and the potato steamer. And it only runs for about 20 minutes before it shuts down. So you have to babysit them about every 20 minutes and they're, it's a pain in the neck. So we are going to we are going to definitely take care of that tomorrow. I wish I had a longer piece of track, but I don't. I'm gonna do a quick save. I'm gonna. I need to check message on my phone real quick. Uh, farm chick, I'm constantly working the potato washer and steamer. You have to watch them closely. Yeah. So we're gonna take care of that tomorrow. Just bear with me a second. I just need to check messages. Make sure there's nothing pressing going on. Oh sweet. I wish I can share this with you. Papa Smurf is working on a new truck for me. So let me message him back really quick looking awesome I asked Papa Smurf and I were brainstorming a little bit yesterday on future factories and one of the factories I need to we need to make ice cubes and I was asking Papa if he had any kind of refrigerated trucks so we could haul ice around. So he is working on a new refrigerated truck. But even like this weekend, you're going to get the breakfast factory. And I think the breakfast factory takes steamed potatoes. So that's why I want to get the, uh, I want to get the uh, potato washer, potato steamer updated before we release the uh, breakfast factory this weekend, because it's going to be a pain in the neck. I think the breakfast factory takes, what does it take? Breakfast factory takes steamed potatoes. So you have to wash them and then steam them. So we definitely got to get the, um, uh oh, why am I frozen? Oh, there we go. So we definitely have to get um, those updated tomorrow. I have three steamers going on the homestead map. Yeah, hopefully after this update, you can sell some of them off. <laughs> now, I think um, the family, uh, my sister's, uh, my niece, my sister's daughter that I looked at, one, four tickets to 
the Tulsa like RV outdoor camper type show and I think they're going on Saturday so my my niece and her fiance and my sister and her husband so the house should be empty on Saturday so if the house is empty on Saturday um, I'll have the Wi-Fi to myself so we'll be able to do a pretty good stream on Saturday so if I can get factory work done tomorrow and I get like three more factories built or at least two more factories built tomorrow then Saturday we can get back in here and crank out some more of this map Bridges, missing bridges everywhere. Alright, let me get rid of some more grass. And we're gonna have to figure out where this road is gonna go. Or this where these tracks are gonna go. Let um, me get one or two more in. Because normally I, it's hard for me to stream on the weekends when everybody's home. Alright, so where are we going to go? I want to try and get... I know what I want to do. Let me grab this section so I know about where I want to go. Uh, so let me duplicate this guy. Let me turn him this way to minus 90. Let me get him about where I want him so I know how far to come out. So I want him close, I want him on this side of the road. And I want him not that far from the mountain. So I want to bring him in somewhere about here. Or do I want to bring him close to the road and then curve him back in? I want to get a station here on the top of the mountain. My goal is to get a station on the top of the mountain. So I'll put a railroad station here that you can unload your trucks into the train or your train into the truck on the top of the mountain. But I also want to put another one on the bottom of the mountain and then tie them together. So you could drop product off up here and load it in the truck or train. And then right at the bottom of the mountain, you could drop a product in with the truck and then pick it up on the top of the mountain by either truck or train. So I'll, I'm going to do that on like four corners of the map. So I'm going to have to bring the train in here. So we're going to have to bring the train in, curve it in here somewhere and either take it straight across or curve it back out and take it around. I'm not sure yet. But I don't want to lose a lot of the space between the road and the mountain. So I think, I think we're going to come across the back end of the road. Then we'll curve it in. We'll put our station in. We'll come along the mountain. At some point, we'll curve it back out. So let's bring it on the back side of the road. And I won't have that many railroad crossings to put in. Let me delete that one for now because I know we're just going to go straight back on the back side of the road. So let's come back in here. So 
we're going to have a bunch of curves, which are a pain in the ass to put the um, track the train splines in. But we're going to have some curves to deal with. Right, let me get rid of some more grass. Sassy one. Um, it's bad for a 57 year old woman to still love popsicles. <laughs> Ice cream. Um, <coughs> we're going to have, we're going to resurrect the Briars Ice Cream Factory. Um, so that's one of the ones that's still on the list. But we're going to use ice cubes for a different factory. But I'm not going to tell you what it's for yet. Because whenever my whenever I give up one of my one of my ideas early, it ends up in somebody else's map before I have a chance to release it. So I'm not I'm not giving up what ice cubes are going to be used for yet. But we are definitely going to have some, we're going to be making ice cubes, that's all I'm going to say. And we're going to be making ice cream, because we're going to resurrect the Briars Ice Cream Factory. And eventually we're going to resurrect the bakery, uh, we're going to resurrect the sandwich shop, we're going to resurrect the frozen food factory. So all those factories are still on the drawing board. So let me grab my curve. So you. Now let me duplicate you. If I can grab that red bar. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now I can slide you back. Alright, so let's get you turned this way to zero. Now if I line you up here, how close to the road? No, that puts you too close to the road. So we gotta come out one more length, but I'm gonna bring in a I don't know if I want the fifty. Hold on. How far out do I want to go? 50 is going to put me out too far. Let me grab that 30 meter that we used earlier, this guy. Let me slide one of him up here. Uh, no, I'm going to have to slide you out so I can get a hold of the red bar. Come on, give me the red bar. There, oh, I had it. Give me the red bar. There we go. Now I can slide you back. So if I slide them, I don't have to readjust the height. It's right, it puts it right at the perfect height. All right, so let's get you lined up. Now we can get our 90 lined up. There we go. Now we can head down. this way and we'll get you 
you line back up. Too far. All right, now we can continue down. So yet again, let's erase some more grass. Uh, keep some stuff surprises. <laughs> we get excited when we try new stuff. Nice. Yeah, don't blame me for keeping something secret since they're not so nice people out there that can't come up with some of their own ideas. I've got a really, really good surprise factory lined up. And it's going to be one of those factories where we just build it and release it. It's not going to be one that I'm going to sit on because once I release it, it's definitely going to get stolen. And it'll be in somebody else's map within two weeks after I release it. Man, we're not even like a third of the way done with this first train. And then Dixie's got a bunch of ideas for future factories that we haven't even had a chance to talk about yet. Because I told her just to um, give me a couple weeks to get caught up, to get all the old factories back out. And then we'll talk about some new factories. I still need to build the soda factory. I never got back around to building this, re-updating re and rebuilding the soda factory either. So we'll see what the day brings tomorrow and what I want to work on. I'm debating whether I want to put four trains in instead of two trains. That means double the bridges and double the railroad crossings and double the XML work. Double the splines. But let me grab my notebook. So there's enough product in the maps now with the updates I just put out that we can do um, the placeable feed mills. We can do the placeable Heinz, Hershey, Procter & Gamble, Dole, um, Old Man's Mill, Wise Potato Chips, the Acme Factory, the leather factory, the coffee factory, 
the soda factory, uh, Glassworks, Budweiser, the pizza factory, and the breakfast factory. So all that's already ready to go without me having to put another any more map updates out. put you in place and then I'm going to let me s grab one of these for now figure out about where uh, I'm gonna come over here and then we're gonna backtrack a minute So I want to get some kind of a building here. Uh, where's my curve? All right, so let me duplicate you. So you're going to have to come in. get you sort of lined up and again this is just rough for now so, so you're gonna be somewhere about there and then you're gonna come in here and then we're gonna have uh, so let me duplicate you again it's going to be easier for me to work backwards to work back out so you're going to come this way to about here somewhere in there and then we're going to have you are going to be somewhere about here and you're going to come back out to about there something like that now before I get all this in place uh, hold on let me do a quick save And all that product I just mentioned is already built into the map, built into the cell points, and built into the warehouses. So we won't need another map update for about a, a good month. Maybe like four to six weeks before we have to do any more map updates. All right, so let me... Uh, let me minimize this for now. Let me minimize this for now. Um, I'm going to just go file, import. Ah, crap, what is, what's it called? Like railroad grain, this one. Um, edit, and this is just a rough placeholder so I know where I need to run the tracks. So you're gonna go this way but you're gonna come I want you as close to the mountain as I can get you so you're gonna go about there uh, let me get the height and stuff figured out so I know it's not like yeah, I thought there was stuff buried. So you're going to go right about... Uh, do I want the platform above the ground? No, that makes my ramp float. All right, so you're going to have to come back down. you got to come down to... So I ran into this problem last time I used this building. By the time I bring it down to where, to where it needs to go, it puts the props under the ground. 
Then I gotta pull all the props back out manually and get them back into place. All right, so that's gonna go about there. Now I'm gonna bring in, uh, so let's bring in the other one. And then, oh crap, all right, hold on. I forgot to delete the fence. Let me take part of this building back out. Uh, delete you. All right, perfect. So you are going to get lined up somewhat with this building. And it doesn't have to be perfect for now. And then you're going to come down here. Let me start bringing you down and slide you out so you're on ground level. So you're going to be about somewhere in here. And then, perfect. So it's even facing the right way. So you're going to be somewhere in here. Now I'm going to run. I'm going to run some pipes that run from this building down to this building. So, and I'm going to connect them together. So if I drop a, a load of grain, like a load of wheat into this warehouse, I can come here with a truck or train on top of the mountain and pick it up. So, if it all works out, that's the plan. All right, so you, no, so you have to go under here. And where does that pipe come down? So the pipe comes down about there. Right, let me take you up a second so I can get you lined up with that pipe. So I want you about there. So let's bring you back down. And you were 205, what was my height? 205.82. That's going to line up our fill trigger. So I don't want to move that piece of track. Uh, so let's pull you back to here. Uh, yeah, that's going to work out well. All right, so let's get you lined up. something about there. Now my curve is going to come somewhere in here. And then you, uh, which section are you? You're this section, so you've got to come. Let's get you lined up. Uh, let me go down on my speed so I can get this guy moved over where it needs to go. That's about right. Alright, so you are gonna work up too fast. Back to about 20. That'll work. So you are gonna go there. So let's work you back out. And we'll have to play with a couple short sections to get everything lined up. So you're going to go there. You're going to come out here.
them out there. Probably, let me grab that 30 meter. I thought I had a 30 meter, oh, right here. Let me grab this 30 meter. And slide you down and see where you line up. Uh, let's take this guy here, make him, can I get a full, yeah, I can still get a full section in here. Our 30 meter is going to be too long. Because does this curve line up? Uh, yeah, my curve lines up. So I'm going to bring you back. So my 30 is going to be too long. So let me delete this 30. Let me go to the old railroad tracks and let me find a 10. We're going to have to put a couple of 10 or a 20. Let me grab a 20. Edit, cut, and paste. Uh, let's throw you here and then your 205.82. Uh, so let's get you turned to zero. And we'll get you lined up. Somewhere about here. Yeah, and I could just make you just a hair longer. So let's go like point 0.1. Okay, you're longer than I need, but that's going to allow me to line you up. So you have to now come back. To there. And then this 20 can now go a little bit shorter. Point like zero four, like that, and then in here, let me grab this twenty. Uh, let's take it back to just, oops, take it back to just one. Let's get you turned this way. And we'll get you see if you see if this lines itself up. And I'll catch back up on chat here in a second. Oh perfect. So we can make you a little bit shorter. So let's go like point nine. Like that. Alright, so that lines us up coming around to here. We'll put another road crossing and we'll work on railroad crossings or road crossings. Uh, so you're all lined up here. So you curve around this way, perfect. So now let's get rid of some more grass. I'm not gonna be able to go straight for too long before I have to curve back out. But let's take it down as far as we can go. And then I'm going to take a peek at chat and do another quick save. So let me do another save. Um, 
Oh, Dodgy Mouse 009, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. If I messed up your name, I apologize. But thank you for taking time out of your day and stopping in and saying hello. We are working on a new 16x multi fruit map with the extra animals. And it's almost turning into like a mining and construction map because we're going to have the built-in mines and then after the built-in mines everything else is going to be place your own so a lot of the a lot every all every factory is going to be placeable most of them are going to be placeable buildable so you're going to have to build your factory when you put it down But I want to run this. Oh, my ground's not even. Okay, I was just say, why are my tracks under the ground? All right, hold on. Let me level this back out. So I'm going to go 206. I'm going to go to replace. And let me get my ground leveled back out here. All right, that looks better. So, uh, two days ago, we got the rest of the road system in. We are very early build. We're only like day six. And then yesterday, I spent like 18 hours getting the mountains in. So, it's essentially, if you're new to the stream, there's going to be a central mountain and then a valley with a river running a through the valley. And then there's an outer mountain that runs across around the perimeter of the entire map. So I'm calling it Center Mountain, Outer Mountain, Center Canal, Outer Canal sort of thing. And I have to get the railroad system in and the railroad tracks and the trains running before I can finish the road system and put the traffic splines in. So it's going to take me like two or three days to get the train system in. Because we're only working on one of two trains for now. And then eventually we're going to have to curve out and come back around. But I'm going to run it along the mountain as far as I can go. So, center the map on top of the mountain. We're going to have the vehicle shop, animal dealer, a bunch of cell points, a, uh, a city, a town, whatever you want to call it. But we're only like day six into like a six month build. All right, so let me get rid of some more. Oop, hold on, wrong one. Uh, let me turn that back off a second. All right, let me get. Let me go to subtract. Now I can get rid of some more grass. And actually, I think I'm going to cut this mountain back a little bit, and we're going to continue running along the mountain as far as I can. Uh, so let me go back to replace and then let's just cut this mountain back a little bit more. And we'll continue with the tracks here along the mountain. Ignore the textures, they're all going to get fixed later. Now, at some point here, I'm not going to be able to keep going straight. I'm going to have to curve back. And I think I'm going to have to curve back right about here. So let me go back and grab our 90 degree. So let's pull this guy back. Uh, so we've got to turn him this way. 
uh, to zero. Uh, greetings from South Africa, Winelands. First time I've seen map building. I'm fascinated. Well, thank you for taking the time out of your day and stopping in. We are, like, like I said, we are very, very early build. Literally like day six. And we pull you back. Come on, give me the red one. Pull you back a little bit more. All right. So we'll curve back out here. Now, I think I want to put another curve in. And I think I want to run it as close to the mountain as I can get it. So let me grab, hang on, let me grab the straight section a minute. Uh, let's see how close to the mountain I can keep it when I get down here. Let's bear with me a second. So I want to try and keep this as close to the mountain as I can get it. So I want to be about here, I think, coming across. So actually, let me put it close to the road. Let me cover it back out, and then we'll run it close to the road coming back down. I don't want to be too close to the road because I can't get the railroad crossing too close to the T. Actually, no, let's keep it close to the mountain. Hold on, let me get it. So if I put it about here, I can run it about here. And then somewhere in here, we can either put grass on both sides of the tracks. We're gonna lose a little bit of land here, or I could put trees on both sides of the track and make like a little foresty a little foresty area up here that the tracks are going to run through. So I want to be about here when I curve back out. So somewhere in here. So let's take another 50. And let's bring it out this way. to zero and I'm gonna get out of here in a minute to get myself a cup of coffee so I'm gonna take a five minute break here in a minute All right, let me go down on my speed now let's get you lined back up something's not right on my height 205.82 what did I mess up 205.82 and then I gotta get some of these fixed can't believe I messed that up. Oh, hold on. How many of them are bad? A bunch of them. 205.82. Let me get all my heights fixed. There, my tracks are going to be off. I thought they were 205.82. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me go back up to one of the early ones. Yeah, they're all 205.82. I thought it, where did I mess up? I guess right there. Something got messed up. All right, so now we're fixed. All right, so let's come back down here. You're lining up much better. And let's bring you out. As soon as I get this lined up with that curve, I'm gonna get out of here for about five minutes and grab a fresh cup of coffee. Uh, so let's get rid of uh, a bit more grass. And like I said, we'll put all this back in later. And one more. about there and then let me grab another curve and 
we'll slide you back and we'll turn you this way. And then we'll get you lined up. Uh, let me go down on my speed so I can get this lined up. All right, somewhere in there. And then that puts you getting lined up over here. All right, and then we can continue straight down with the tracks from here. Uh, I'll just get rid of some more grass for now. And let me get one more section in. And then I'm going to take five. All right. I am going to save the game or save my progress we are going to throw you on be right back give me about four or five minutes to grab a fresh cup of coffee and i will be back All right, that was a quick break. So I did not realize that it was already almost 11.30 my time. And I've not even had breakfast yet today. So I'm going to go for about another 25 minutes or so. And now I'm going to get out of here for lunch. And then we'll come back after lunch. I'll take about a 45 minute break. And then after lunch, I'm hoping we can get 
the rest of this track laid for the first train because we're only about we are literally only about halfway around to of where we need to be you know we have a second train to put in which we probably won't even get done today so Saturday it looks like tomorrow will be factory work we'll be working on new factories tomorrow and then Saturday when we come back in we'll probably still be working on trains But I, so far, out of the four maps that we have already released, I think Ritchieville is still my favorite map, the first one. So if you're new to the channel, um, here, let me jump on my phone here a second. So if you're new to the channel, Um, exclamation point, uh, Facebook, uh, will get you a link to our Facebook group. Make sure you answer all the questions or you won't be accepted in. And then exclamation point. Uh, maps or map I think it's one of the two that'll get you to our Trello board and the Trello board is where all of our maps and our mods are and then uh, exclamation point donate will get you to PayPal me if anybody wants to throw any donations in. Um, I missed the question. I think it said, where am I from? And again, I don't have a second monitor, so I can only catch chat on my phone. And I only see a little bit on my phone without scrolling, without scrolling back up. So I am, or I was born and raised in the Pocono Mountains in Pennsylvania. Um, about the age of 21, I was stupid and got married. <laughs> well, not at the time, but, and then my wife and I moved to we got married between in the summer between her junior and senior year in college because she already had a job offer so as soon as she graduated we had a job offer in Huntsville Alabama so we knew we wouldn't have time for a big wedding um, when she graduated because literally like they were going to move us to Alabama. So we got married between her junior and senior year. So I was working full time, going to school part time. She was going to school full time and was working part time. So we spent six years in Alabama. Um, she was working for Boeing as a software engineer on the space station project before the first component was even flown into space. 
So she worked on the environmental control systems for the space station, which was really cool because we were like on the Redstone Arsenal in Alabama and with her, she had top secret military clearance, but they actually, they actually gave me clearances to be on base. And we actually got to go in and watch they had working mock-ups of the space station, so we actually had a chance to go in and see the astronauts train um, in these big tanks underwater, like these massive swimming pools, and they had working mock-up of the space station. And we actually got to go in and watch the tour the the, the mock-up of the space station. We actually got to watch the astronauts work underwater to learn how to build the components of the space station together because underwater simulated the weightlessness of space. So we actually got to watch them practice and connect in all the different components of the space station together. But unfortunately when they were flying when they were getting ready to shoot the first piece of, of the uh, space station into space, they moved the entire project from Huntsville, Alabama to Houston, Texas. And they were shutting down the project from Huntsville. So we ended up, um, we ended up they offered us either to stay with the project and go to Houston, Texas. But at that point, we already had a, let's see, Jessica was a newborn. She was only two or three months old. And then Daniel, our son, was like a year and a half older. So we had like a year and a half, old, almost a two-year-old and a six month old. So they offered us either Houston or Philadelphia to work on the Osprey project. So we just, since we had two young kids and we were both from Pennsylvania and all of our family was still in Pennsylvania, we took the transfer to Philadelphia. And we were in the suburbs of Philadelphia for like 30 years. And then without getting into a lot of details, we ended up shortly after we moved back to Philly, I think the kids were in grade school. We actually ended up getting divorced. And I stayed close to the kids. I stayed in the suburbs of Philly and worked in the furniture industry for 26 years. And then within the last two years, uh, because of health issues, I am currently living in my sister's spare room in Oklahoma, waiting on fighting for a disability claim. So I've spent 21 years in the Poconos, six years in Alabama, both kids were born in Alabama, 26 years in the suburbs of Philly, and a few years now in Oklahoma. And my son and his wife and my grandbaby are in near Reading, Pennsylvania. And my daughter is in Texas. And my daughter works for Rooster Teeth Animation. She does 3D animation. So she works for Rooster Teeth Productions on a show called uh, Ruby. It's R, I think it's R, yeah, R W B Y. So she works on Ruby. Um, so you could check out Ruby on YouTube or Ruby on 
Rooster Teeth Animation's website. She works on that show. She's a car, uh, 3D animator. And with COVID, she's fortunate enough to work from home. Now, at some point down in this corner, we have to get another grain silo in. We'll figure it out once we get down here. So long story, sh short story long, long-winded it, so that's where I am from. <laughs> I'm from Iowa, if that question was for me. So I have, I think I've driven through Iowa. I don't think I've ever spent any time in Iowa. But I spent time in Alabama. I spent time in um, Georgia. I spent time in Mississippi. Uh, we spent some quite a bit of time in Tennessee since we lived in Alabama. And then when I was working for the furniture industry, I did a lot of traveling. So I've been in every state up and down the East Coast. Railroad tracks for ages. And unfortunately, this is only the first of two trains. But I can't complain about the marriage because we have two awesome kids. And they're really adorable five and a half month old granddaughter. But because of COVID, I haven't seen other than, you know, FaceTime and Skype and all that jazz. Because my, my son works outside the house, but my daughter-in-law works from home so she's home with the baby and they're really not letting anybody around in and out of the house and with COVID I don't want to do any traveling and carry anything to the house where they are and with my health issues I really don't need to be catching COVID either so I've been I've only leave the house about once a week to go to the grocery store and once a week to go to the church to get food so as soon as this COVID crap is over I'll be taking a week off or two weeks off and I'll be spending some time in Pennsylvania with that granddaughter If I remember, I'll post the, um, in our Facebook group, if I remember tonight or tomorrow, I'll post the link to uh, Ruby, the show that my daughter works on. 
y'all want to check it out. Should we start singing I've Been Working on the Railroad? You don't want to hear me sing. But we're not even going to get the tracks done before lunch. Because we have to take it the rest of the way around outside of Central Mountain. And we got to do another right-hand curve. And then we got to come back into Central Mountain. So we're probably only about halfway around with the first train. I don't even know if we'll get the first train in today. Um, who is out of here? Off to go to farm a bit until next time. Thank you for taking time out of your day, stopping in, saying hello. Much appreciated. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be another day or two with just this. And then once we get the tracks in, then we'll get all the, the train splines in and get the trains running. And then after the trains are running, we'll get all the traffic splines in. And then we're going to figure out, once we cross this road, we're going to have to figure out where I want to get another um, grain station in. So we get close to this road, and then we'll see where we're going to go from there. But it'd be really cool if we can get the first train to set a tr at least get traction for the first train today. And if we get the tracks in, what I may do is I may import everything into the map we need to actually put the tr get the train in before we go and put the second set of tracks in. At least it's a sense it'll be a sense of accomplishment to come into the map and see at least one train running around. All right, so let me grab, duplicate this guy. So let's turn him this way. Uh, let's go to zero. Now let's figure out where we're going to go from here. So I want to be close to this mountain range. So I want to be, let's come down here and find our widest point and then we'll, go, we'll get as close to it as we can go. So somewhere about here, when we make the turn is where I want to be. Now there's one other thing I want to do before we go any further. Let's come back in here to the center mountain for a minute. Ignore all that stuff up in the sky that's going to get deleted out. So let's grab our train station. I want to grab this track. I want to duplicate it. I'm going to pull it straight back for now so I know about where we're coming out. So I can line up the rest of my tracks with this one. So we're going to end up somewhere about here. Just 
just so I have an idea of where I need to be. So we're going to come here, we're going to go back in, and it's going to connect back up with Central Station. So you, um, are you, how close to the mountain can I get you? Um, that'll work because I can cut the mountain back. All right, so that's as close to the mountain as I can get. And then somewhere about here, we'll put another grain station on, on the top of the mountain and the bottom of the mountain and we'll tie them in together so you are going to come you're going to be about here something like that all right so let's bring you out Ooh, come down on my speed. Yeah, I'm going to give it about another 15 minutes, and I'm going to get out of here for lunch. And then hopefully after lunch, we can get this first train finished. Or at least the tracks in for the first train. Putting the train in is another entire day's project. The train splines are a pain. Then we got to put railroad cross traffic railroads, the working railroad crossing signals in, and they're a pain in the ass to put in. One more in, we'll bring a curve down and we'll see how everything lines up. So you're going to be about there. Yeah, so let's grab. Where's our 90 degree? You. Uh, let's, let's slide one of you down. Uh, give me the red. Perfect. All right, so let's get you lined up. So you're going to go this way. And so you want to be about here because I can't bring you any closer. So that means I need a let me grab that 20 to fill in that little gap. So let me grab a 20. One of you. And actually I can just duplicate it. Uh, because I can change the height. It's going to be 205.82. On my other map it was just like this weird number I couldn't memorize. But uh, this map it's fairly simple. Uh, so let's get you lined up. Oh, and that's going to work out well. Alright, so now we can line up our 90. So I don't mind it being out just a little bit further than what I had planned. So you get lined up. Yep. And then my straight piece can get lined up. No, you. There we go. You can get lined up. So we'll line you up. Oh, and you're still off. All right, hold on. let's get you lined up. There we go. All right, so now we can continue down. This way. 
And now maybe over here in this odd corner, maybe we'll put one of those weird fields in that splits the track. So half the field's on this side of the track, half the field's on this side of the track. Yeah, and when I went to get coffee, there was only a half a cup left in the coffee pot from this morning. So after lunch, I'll grab some fresh coffee before I come back on. And then hopefully we can go a couple hours between lunch and dinner with laying boring railroad. Boring bits lay in track. But I think we're about three quarters of the way around now. Oh, crap, I wanted to get a railroad grain. All right, this, hang on, let me see where I need to be. Let me try and figure out where I need to get this railroad grain in lined up. All right, so let's grab. And again, these are only rough. I'm gonna have to move these and get them lined up in their own transform groups and stuff later on, but let me grab one of these and let's bring him down over here so I know where I have to line this up so I may have to bring this track in a little bit closer which way yeah, we've got to go this way, and then I'll move all those props and stuff later. But this is just rough. This will be just rough in. And then the other one, this one, two o five point nine seven one. So let's get you lined up. Uh, let, me, let me just take this down so I can get it lined up. So 205.971 is my height. I can actually stay right there. So you can come straight in here. And then you can get turned this way and then I'll take some of this mountain down and we'll connect we'll connect these two stations together so you can drop product off on the bottom or drop product off on the top so they'll be tied together so you're going to be about there now where am I where's my track coming in my track is going to be too far back Uh, how far how far off is my track? I may have to come closer to the mountain and then curve it back out. Uh, let me steal you for a minute and see how far off you're going to be. Um, actually, that's not bad. I can pull that away from the mountain a little bit and still connect them together. All right, so that'll work. All right, so let's get you lined back up and we'll continue you out. I'm going back down on my speed so I can see what I'm doing. Is those railroad silo, those railroad buildings and silos and grain stations, 
I have to put them in their own transform groups and rename them and all that happy jazz. So that'll be a project for another day, but they're just placeholders for now. And then we may even put some more stations along the track. So we can add those in as we go. As long as I get the main ones hooked up first. I'm going to come up here and do a quick save because I haven't saved in a while. So before I go any further, let me do a save. Oh, I'm actually going to get out of here for lunch. So let me throw you all on um, ending soon. I'm going to save this, close it. I'm going to get out of here for about 45 minutes. Grab some lunch. Try and wake up a little bit more. Not good to run out of coffee. I know, I live on coffee. There's coffee. I don't have blood running through my veins. I've got coffee running through my veins. All right, map is saved. I'm going to close this. Um, sassy one, enjoy lunch. See you all later. Thank you. I'm going to get out of here. See everybody in about 45 minutes.